Hi guys. Well, I got this uh, product here I want to take a look at with you. It's called the Ring of Fire uh, Brazing Rings. A little brochure for it and a little pack. Um, this is a pack of 25. And um, I guess I'd consider this like a trial pack. <clears throat> and that's, there you can see what what it comes with. I figure we're gonna try this out today and see how they actually work. Um, I've used them a couple times and they seem to work pretty good for me. I haven't had any problems with them. Um, they, I used them both on um, like, um, did, like walk-in cooler situations. Um, <clears throat> so, there they are. They say they're 15%. Here's the brochure. And they say you don't have to, have to carry a brazing rod at all anymore. So I don't know about that. But three easy steps. Let's see what they say. They say clean the tube. Uh, sorry, not focusing here. Um, place your little ring. Make sure everything's seated. Heat everything evenly. And I guess it doesn't say it on here. It must have been somewhere else. It says that, okay, there, the molten braze will appear around the top of the coupling for easy visual verification of the complete braze. So, um, so there's those two things. And here they are here and what I want to do is the 3 8 tubing we're going to just put a little coupling on it um, with the little ring and this is uncleaned this one I sanded down um, sanded the inside of the coupling down and uh, so we'll see if being clean makes a difference I don't think it will but um, and then I like to hear your guys opinion um, yeah, this is another Harris, this is a Harris product as well. Um, this is the, yeah, this is 15% as well. And, um, um, oh yeah. And yes, I still, I use the oxyacetylene. That's, nobody's going to change my mind on that. So let me get this set up and I'll be right back with you. All right. So. I have it set up in here. There you can see that little ring inside there. <clears throat> so, and th and I'm very curious to see to see how this is going to work. So, um, and this is it just going to run out the backside? Is it you know? And this one is it just going to run down and drip out of the bottom of this fitting? I don't know. So maybe this is something where you got to have everything all together, uh, before, you know, instead of doing maybe just one joint then run it. I don't know. So um, let's get the torch fired up here and see what we got. All right. So let's do this guy first.
hot enough. I don't know. There it is. You see it here. I don't know if you guys can see that on the camera. I think you gotta get it really hot to uh, a lot hotter than. I know with a torch, it's always a fine line. Can't see it that one spot where I want to keep hitting it. But I don't know if you guys can see that as well as I can, but I can see that all the way around except for. Right there. Let me hit this again or see if I can bring some of that around to or just by it visually it looks like a Yeah, it does. Very good. So um, let me get the torch turned off and uh, just get to take a look at those. All right, so we got it all cooled off and cleaned up. And um, the 3 8 one did pretty good. Um, the one thing I did notice is, you know, since you have that ring at the full seated position, um, as it starts to melt, you know, if you're not in a position of, of able to Push that pipe in deeper as that melts, um, which in a lot of a lot of times when you go to solder, you're not going to have that opportunity. I think you guys know that uh, as well as I do. So, and that's what I was trying to go with on this was, uh, you know, if that's just stubbed out and you just go into solder, how's it going to work? This one, I feel like it did pretty good. Um, let's see if I can. Uh, get a look at that inside here uh, let's see here yeah it's funny how it's not anywhere in the rest of the coupling it looks great you can still slide another piece of pipe in there um, so with this one I'm, I'm pretty happy with it um, Now, on the three-quarter here, and it, I don't know if I'd consider it a different story or not, but um, it didn't run into the rest of the coupling, which is good. You know, it did follow the, it did the capillary action and, and came out on this side. However, on this, I feel like if I were to have pushed on it to fully seat it, um, it would have worked better. Now, one thing I do want to do is I think that I'm going to uh, close this end up, brace it shut, and put another fitting on this and maybe test it with air or hook it up to a water line. I don't know, something, because uh, I'd like to pressure test these. So, um, but that's what we got. Even though I can't see that, that um, the braze coming out uh, in that little tiny spot right there, um, from the inside, you can't tell anything. You can't, there's, um, it, it looks good from, you know, I know you, it's hard to see, um, relate that on camera. So, so there you go. Um, just a quick demonstration of Ring of Fire by Harris. It's 15% silver, and um, I'd like to try it on everything from the tiny pipe, little eighth inch cap tubes, up to the seven eighths. So, um, if I get a chance to in the field, I'll actually uh, show you those as well. But uh, if you guys got any questions about it, feel free to ask in the comments below. Um, or any comments, anything you might have seen me do wrong, or anything you want to see me try differently, I'd be glad to do it. So, there you go. Ring of fire. Let me know what you guys think.
Thanks. Be safe out there, guys.